All right, guys, we had a really good request uh, from one of our winter hub growers asking about aphids, and we'll post a, uh, a photo of what the aphids look like. Um, it is one of the few other insects or bugs that we do get here in San Diego besides the caterpillars. Uh, they're not as devastating as the caterpillars, but they can kind of be gross and they can kind of multiply pretty quick. Um, so the best thing for aphids isn't BT. BT, what we gave you, is actually specifically for caterpillars. Uh, and that's, um, that's actually a bacteria, beneficial bacteria that's in BT. Uh, it doesn't really work that well for aphids. What you want for aphids is just something nice and easy. Uh, you actually just want to do something like a dish, dish soap, like about a tablespoon, into a uh, just an empty spray bottle. Make sure that it is empty or really well cleaned before you do this. You don't want to spray your plants with like simple green or anything like that. So go ahead, get an empty one at a 99 cent store or something like that. Um, if you don't want to measure out a tablespoon, that's fine. So we'll show you, you know, kind of a guesstimate of, okay, this is difficult looking through. Just like one squeeze, you're good. You probably do this a lot better than I did. Um, but yeah, about one squeeze in here, fill it up with water. We're doing it in our sink just because I knew it was going to get messy like that. And, yeah, I'm sure you guys are really excited. Accidentally hit stop on the video, so this video is going great. Um, so, yeah, basically just a squeeze or a tablespoon of any sort of dish soap and an empty water bottle or a really, really clean, uh, sorry, spray bottle. Uh, again, you don't want to use something with, like, simple green that's just been in it. And, um, and do it with a fine mist. We'll go outside and I'll show you how to do it in a sec. That is not a fine mist. But the idea is that soapy water is actually going to coat the aphids like soap would coat dirt or food particles on plates. Um, and so that way it renders them ineffective. Um, so we're going to figure out how to get this to a mist instead of a stream once I have an extra hand, and we'll go outside here in a sec. All right, thanks, guys. All right, bear with me, guys. We have our uh, soapy water spray, and uh, the plants that you're going to get aphids on are going to be your, like your cabbage-type uh, uh lettuces, leafy greens, or your Asian greens. And I didn't think that we actually had any until I went hunting out here. Let me see, uh, I did find a couple, not a lot, so we're not freaking out. But uh, we did see some pictures from people where they did have quite a few. And where are they? Where did he go? All right, anyways, they're tiny, they're in there. Uh, they're like a greenish color. Oh. Is that one a couple right there yes those are them just very very small um and we are going to oh i think i actually see a, a better amount sorry there we go these ones are dark these ones are brown those are aphids you can kind of see them on the leaf in the back and on those um they're doing nothing but getting moisture out of the plant so you can actually just wipe them off with your finger if you'd like or if that's too gross for you, here, we'll turn it around. Um, where did they go? You can actually spray them. So spray, they're gonna be on the underside of leaves mainly. I'll just give them a good spray and uh, usually they'll run off, uh, not run off, but they'll run off with the water uh, and the soapy water and the ones that do stay will hopefully get coated with some soap. So we're gonna hit this one as well, sorry. And yeah, so those are gonna get coated. Um, and then I'm gonna actually wipe mine off as well. So this will leave some soap, so make sure you're not using toxic soap when you are doing this. Uh, you might also want to uh, wash anything um, that you are picking that you have sprayed with soapy water, not because it's toxic, but because it might taste like soap. Uh, hopefully the rain will wash it off, but um, go ahead, this is a great organic, like, non-toxic way to, uh, get rid of, uh, to get rid of aphids. I think I see some over here that I'm gonna spray too, now that I'm down and I'm low. 
so we're gonna go ahead and spray those too. Uh, if you guys have any questions about this, please let me know. Uh, if you need help on buying a cheap spray bottle, um, let us know as well. Um, there's a 99 cent store in Encinitas that we go to uh, for these really cool, super, super effective spray bottles. Um, again, it's gonna go after, those aphids are gonna go after like your hardier greens, your leafy greens, not so much, not so much your lettuces or not so much your snap peas or big uh, fruiting stuff like your tomatoes. Um, so we're just gonna check the kale, looks good. And we will keep monitoring it and keep this outside with our BT as well. All right, thanks guys, bye.